Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review and walkthrough of my A5 setup. Um, Darlene from X Quiz Creations uh, was so generous to send me this um, to review. So yes, thank you Darlene and excited to chat about the products. So this is um, what came out of the bundle first. Um, and again, this is Exquis Creation, so I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she sent two journaling cards, which to be totally honest, I have had some journaling cards in the past and not really been able to understand what they were for. It's one of those situations where it's like that Chris Pratt meme from Parks and Rec where he's like, at this point, um, I, I don't know what these things are at this point, I'm afraid to ask. I mean, I always thought they were pretty. I just didn't necessarily know where to put them. So um, now with a binder, I can sort of stick them in the fold. Um, but this one says, be bold, never regular. Um, and it's kind of a thank you card from X, X Quiz Creation. Um, I think I'm gonna uh, stick this in because I really like the uh, black and white kind of classic feel to it. Um, the second one is embrace what makes you different. Um, and I really like the kind of two-toned here um, with the cream and the nude uh, colors. So yeah, so definitely gonna keep those. Um, the second thing that came with the box is this, um, I think it's a divider. Um, and it's 2021, so I'm just gonna open it. And yeah, this is basically two sheets that I think you can layer on top of each other or you know choose to do what you want with them. So the first one is 2021. And actually, I've not had a binder before, but I think actually this would probably go on the front for me. So, um, so yeah, gonna definitely keep that. And the inbox one says, stop wishing, start doing. So in, with respect to an inbox um, in, in, in the A5 binder, I, I'm curious what other people do or what other people keep kind of behind this uh, piece, but um, I don't think this is quite vellum, but it's of a similar thickness. It may actually be vellum. Yeah, I think it is vellum. Um, and yeah, I think maybe you keep like your to-do list um, behind this. So not exactly sure. Um, she also sent these clear tabs, which I think are going to be a little bit more reinforced than these covers. So I'm um, just going to open these. So yeah, 100%. These are absolutely, definitely much thicker. Um, and the they're, they're bendy, so pretty flexible, but also pretty thick, um, if you can see the thickness here. So, um, so yeah, there are one, two, three, four, five, six tabs. And I imagine that you can either print some labels to put on them and you can label, you know, to do's, you can label your daily, weekly, monthly, potentially. I'm not exactly sure yet how I'll end up using these, but, um, I think I'll probably print or get some labels, maybe from cloth and paper or somewhere else to put on them. Now for the pièce de résistance, the actual binder. Um, and so here's the binder. Um, and I will say that this is my first A5 wide and I am very, very impressed so far. Um, and I'm kind of wonder why I didn't uh, plan with this size before, but the leather is very smooth, very supple. Um, I love this color and it's a sort of checked, um, pattern on the front, um, but clear on the back. And there's a little snap here, a little gold snap in to keep your um, planner closed. So on the inside, there's a couple of different features. The rings, it's six rings, which I think, um, I'm not sure if most A5's binders are this, but um, the six rings I think are gonna be great for me. That way I can punch a couple different sizes and they'll fit no matter what. If there were fewer rings, I might be worried. Like some of my sticker binders, I have only two rings and it doesn't really work with things that are um, have more holes. Um, so there's a little fold here where you can stick, you know, cards and such. Um, I imagine this is the dashboard that I see on everyone's Instagram. <laughs> this is where you put your journal cards. I mean, duh, Ash, but you know, not having, having purely been with rings and strings so far, never really done this before. There's also a little pocket that you can zip and unzip. I'm not exactly sure again what I might fit in here, but, um, 
think this is uh, cool. You could put documents definitely in there. You could also stick some documents in this big pocket over here um, and pretty roomy. Um, there's another big pocket on the top. So there's lots of pockets. I think there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. And then if you count the zipper in this and um, this pocket over here, it's about eight pockets. Um, there's also a pen loop. And uh, yeah, I can start trying to set this up a little bit um, with what I've got. So I picked up these inserts from Day Designer and um, part of the reason why I wanted to try these out is not only do they have the six rings, which is definitely what I need, um, for planning with this binder, but also they're undated. So you can kind of write in your own date. Um, you can write your top three focus. I really appreciated having both a to-do list and a schedule on the same page. So this may be too small to see, but if you can take a look, there's a to-do with, um, I think maybe 15 to-do check boxes and also today from 6 to 9 p.m. on the side so um, in addition to that uh, there are a couple water trackers there's notes I'm not sure what the BLDS is um, when I figure out I will let you all know but uh, I think these were pretty um, customizable enough for me that I really um, wanted to test them out especially as i'm getting used to the binder i might change these inserts out um but for now they're working for me so yeah they're the day designer undated dailies um and they're actually called day on one page uh so yeah so i'm gonna put these into my binder fits perfectly in there. Um, and then I'm going to start sticking some of the journaling cards in. So I said I was going to keep that black one. So the cards fit in actually, huh? So the cards are a little bit too big for this to go straight in here, but they can definitely fit in here as well. Or they could definitely go tucked in on the back or tucked in up here. Um, so I might tuck that in here. I have some other insert cards. Um, so this one's from Harriet Wright Designs, also a little bit too big. Um, and this one is from Two Little Bees. I think this might be the right size huh it's a little bit too big interesting okay so um to fit your journaling cards in here you may have to cut them down a tiny bit or look for a smaller size uh, i'm not exactly sure what size would fit in the pocket i could probably measure these but it's definitely a little bit slimmer than this um <clears throat> so i will start with adding the covers to the front so let's add the 21 And I will add a tab to sort of mark the beginning of the planner. This could be inbox. So I think I'll probably layer the inbox and this together. So that could be the beginning of my day. And yeah, so I think um, I'll probably start putting some more inserts in. I definitely want at least an insert in between my, um, the like beginning of the planner and also the inbox. Um, I'll probably keep something here that's like a, um, a monthly focus or sort of a, like a dashboard that I can keep track of my goals instead of having dailies. Um, so yeah, I may include another one of these clear dividers to like separate this from that, but I'm not exactly sure yet. And yeah, so excited to play around with this a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try some more um, cards, journaling cards, um, to put into the side so I can figure out what fits in the dashboard. Um, and yeah, you guys will be seeing more of these uh, updates um, with or more planner picks with this binder. So I'm excited to like get into it and use them. Uh, okay, thanks. And I will see you next time.